Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already.
patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Yeah? We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the Powder Gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. And what we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Roger.
Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks, someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful when you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Watch yourself. Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I got. been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Hey. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Well, mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Goodbye. Back again, I... Prim. Some of the powder gangers. They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there owes us a favor. That couldn't hurt. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? I'd like to help. We can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. NCR border guard duty mostly. 
It's our job to make sure the caravans can move safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east, patrolling the Colorado. The Legion's pretty thick there. Me? I'm Knight. Major Knight. I've been stuck here dealing with these caravans for ages now, but somebody's got to do it. Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Ma'am? Patrol in the Mojave almost makes... Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Watch yourself out there. 